Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use DIGO. DIGO stands for Digest of Internet Information, Groups, and Other Stuff. It is a personal knowledge management system and it helps you to organize all of the knowledge and information that you access on the internet in an organized way. So let me show you how it works. And you click on My Library. Okay. So first off, Digo is a bookmarking tool. And in your library, there is a long list of bookmarks. These are all things that you've accessed at some point uh, on the internet. So let's say for a moment, uh, you'd like to add something to your bookmark list. Well, let's say you were just reading this article here. You can click and add a bookmark by just typing in a URL. Okay. You can add some tags. I'm going to do that. Uh, Russia. And I'm just going to add that bookmark. So you can add it from within Digo. But if you have the extension, then let's say you're just reading. You're just reading the news or some sort of analysis. Okay, so I'm reading along and I go, hey, this article actually looks really good. And so you can click the Digo extension again and you can bookmark it. Okay, now I've actually started bookmarking this one already. So I'm gonna add AP Kogo, Nigeria, and maybe political parties. And I'm going to also add it to an outliner. I'm gonna explain outliners in just a moment. Okay, so now that I've saved it, there's a little annotation, little Digo button here. So while I'm reading it, um, I can also uh, access the annotation tool, which is the second tool that Digo is. So if I click this, let's say I'm reading something and oh, this looks really good. So I just click on highlight and voila, I've highlighted something within the article. Okay, so I'm reading through, let's say I want to make a note here. Uh, and I could say, yes, these elections brought about democracy or something like that. I can just save it, okay? Now, if I go back to my library, I can see both my bookmarks and my annotations. So uh, I'm just gonna refresh my library and you'll see, voila, this is the one that I just read. Now, if I click on expand all, you can see my highlights and annotations are right here underneath the bookmark. How cool. I've also, uh, this I haven't read this article, so I can save things for later. So it is a bookmarking tool, a annotation tool, and it's also a curation tool. Because let's be honest, if I go back to my library, some of you say, okay, well, how is this any more organized than a massive bookmarks bar? Well, that's where the curation tool, Outliners, is so useful for Digo. Okay? We all hate file dumps. And if Digo was just another place where we could store files or even links or bookmarks, doesn't matter how many annotations we have, that's not going to be very useful. Now, what I've done is I've taken one of my courses, AP Comparative Government, and I've organized it based on units. I've created an outline for each one. So here's what it looks like. This is the one I'm working in right now, okay? So what I've done is I've organized this. These are all my main topics, a couple of lessons per topic. And so I need lots of news articles and things for students to read, also to inform my own analysis. And so let's see, this is the one I'm teaching on right now. You can drag around these wherever you'd like okay so it's it's an outline and it can always you just keep clicking tab and you can all or drag it around just by pushing on the little button and you can drag this everywhere to create an outline uh, that's got different levels okay so that's a super helpful tool and I'm going to use it in my AP class to organize rather than what I would have had to do before is go to all of these articles, download them all, put them all in a computer folder, and then annotate them. Okay. Uh, it, I can also, if I click on this 
within the outliner, I can see the article and the annotations that I've made to that article, and I can also add more. So I can add another comment. Okay. Now, how can I use this as a teacher? This is where I, really quickly, the last thing, my groups. So I've created a group uh, that my students can access, and I've included some bookmarks with annotations that I'd like them to use. That's about the only application that I'm really going to use for teaching, but it is a fantastic system for organizing all those articles, websites, and pieces of information that I try and download, annotate, in another program and store in and in a, in a curate in another program. So three programs. <coughs> Bookmarks, annotation, curation, and then collaboration. And that is Digo.